be here. Uh, excited about this opportunity. The offensive staff's really excited. We've got a really young bunch. We've only got a couple of guys with a lot of experience. But really, if you saw today, there's a lot of guys that we think's got a lot of potential. And as a coach, that's great because it's going to be up to us to get it out of them. Uh, one thing about it is that everybody forgets we've got a quarterback that's played a lot of football, and that's where it all starts. I think Brandon's done a great job in fall camp. I think he's getting better every day. Uh, we've got three senior offensive linemen that I think once we figure out where all the pieces go in the next couple of weeks, I think we'll be able to get the job done there. You heard Coach. He kind of went through all the positions. Uh, I, I'm really excited because of the inside receivers, I have some guys that are really battling. They're, they hadn't played a lot of games, but they're making a lot of plays in practice. And usually if you're making a lot of plays in practice, you got a chance to do that in fall camp. And you got a chance in the first game. So that's kind of where I'm excited about. Um, running back wise, you saw we've already asked about six guys. We've got a lot of depth there. We're excited about that opportunity. Um, and then we've got a couple of young guys at receiver on the outside and inside that if they continue to develop by the end of the year, you'll be asking about them a lot. So I'm going to kind of leave it there and uh, let you ask any questions. If you got it, Coach answered most of them, but if you got a few, I'll be glad to answer them. Well, um, Sawyer's done a great job. He came in in January, and you can imagine, he, he had to get all the reps. And he got a lot of reps with the twos and got an opportunity to really show what he could do. Um, him and Barker both have done a great job in fall camp. They both have had strides where they looked really, really good, and you go, man, we're on track there. You know, it's still unfair because they really shouldn't have to play next year, but they're probably both going to get a little playing time. Um, I just thought today Sawyer really stepped up and kind of you, everybody kept asking questions about him. And I think you saw today he's got really good speed. He throw he threw the ball really well today. And the more he gets reps and the more he understands the offense, I think the better he'll get. Well, John's grown a lot. You know, uh, first year he played inside receiver and he rotated a little bit. Didn't get to play a lot, but made some really big plays for us. Last year he moved to the outside, which was an adjustment for him, and he and he and he played a lot of football for us, caught a lot of balls. And I think he really worked hard over the summer and the off season in his leadership role. And if you've seen it practice now, he, he's getting better. He hit a little dry spell there for a couple of days where you could just see he kind of got tired. But I think he's fighting through that. And I think at the end of the year, I think he's going to play his best football. Well, that's, that's a good thing. Usually when the defensive line is pretty real good, you got a chance to be pretty special. So, you know, that's good for them. They're getting to go against some really good guys. You know, it's hard to block some of those guys on a regular basis. Um, there's a couple of pieces there we're moving around, but I, I really think before it's all said and done here in a couple of weeks, our line's going to get rolling. And I think by the end of the year, we're going to be talking about them because I really do think we have some guys up there that just need some experience. Some of the new pieces we brought in just need some experience. And the only way you get that is to go live. And that's hard to do. And so going against those guys every day is going to make them better. Well, there's a couple of them that were here in spring, so that always gives you an advantage because we get to see them all spring and really they get their feet wet and get going. And then what's been really surprising is a couple like Sam Letton this fall camp has really done a great job and he just got here. Um, so I, I think that's, to me, the best thing is that there's a lot of guys that have talent. And so now it's left up to us to, to make sure we develop them, put them in the right spots and, and kind of just grow them as we get going. Well, I'm not going to put that on anybody. You know, Teddy, Teddy had, had, had already played a year and a half. He had been here through, you know, so that, that's not really fair. But I do think Tavares McCormick and Sidney Davis both have some special roles they can play for us. Um, Tavares has made a lot of plays. He's really fast. If you've been at practice some, you've seen that. Uh, I think DeAndre Douglas has, has, has really stepped up. Maybe he can be that guy. So far, he's been the most consistent in fall camp. So I, I really think there's a couple of guys there that can make some plays. And then I think we've got a couple guys on the outside that can step up and make plays for us. Well, last year, you know, he had to play. We needed him because of his speed. Uh, he probably wasn't ready to play. 
and he kind of came along and grew up as we went, had a pretty good spring, but he's gotten a lot better this fall. Coach mentioned it today. That was really big for him. You know, he had a play he should have probably made and didn't make it and came right back and made a big play. I mean, he's really, really fast if you had never noticed. So I, I, I'm excited about that because we got a lot of speed out there and we got some guys with some size. Well, I think Coach Brown's philosophy is more to let's find one guy and let's ride him and then let's make sure we've got some other guys that can take the case. I think you saw that last year. Uh, I think Chun can do that. I also think Andre could do that if he had to. You know, I think Jabir and some of those other guys will be the change-up speed to him. And Josh, Jabir, that's – I mean, you tackle Josh at 255 and you turn around and try to catch Jabir, that's a good little change-up now. Well, I know we got at least one real big one, that's Josh. Chun, we've had a couple of big guys, but none quite their size. And that's good because hopefully in the fourth quarter, they're pounding those guys and wearing them down. We're hoping we can. And, and, and here's the thing about running back. Any running back can run through an open hole. Okay, we want the guy that can make the hole or when he gets in the hole, runs over the guy. That's what makes a great running back. You know, or a guy that makes him miss. Anybody in this room can run through a wide open hole. You know, so that's what we're counting on all those guys. They all got special needs. They all can do some really special things. And we're just excited to kind of watch them go. You feel pretty good about your yeah, feel real good.